What's up, what's up everybody? Coming to you on a walk today. It is literally 100 degrees out here in Arizona. So when it's 100 degrees, what do I do? I go outside and walk because I'm crazy like that. Uh, first of all, congratulations on making it this far. Many of you have been with us so far for two full months. You know, this is entering into our third month here with our 90 day challenge. We are kind of in the final 30 days of this 90 day challenge. We have a whole bunch of people that are still brand new joining us every single day. So first of all, welcome to every single one of you. If you've made it this far in the videos, congratulations. That is a lot of content. I think we surpassed over 100 hours of content. So I know that's a lot to engage in, but this is stuff that is um, essential to your success. And I felt to kickstart kind of this final phase, I wanted to talk about what I believe is the number one reason why people fail when it comes to Shopify. Now, of course, every single day you guys see screenshots, tons and tons and tons of screenshots in our group. So clearly people are succeeding. So what do I mean by people failing? Well, let's talk about failure for a second and let's talk about winning versus losing and let's have a real discussion about it so that we're all on the same page. And also I wanna share some of my thoughts on the matter. But let's say that, let's give an example. Instead of Shopify, let's say that this was the stock market, okay? So let's say that you buy a stock. You hear that Amazon.com is doing incredibly well. You believe in e-commerce because you're here in the group. You go buy Amazon.com stock. Okay, now let's say that you go buy it. We're gonna make up some numbers here, right? Let's say you go buy Amazon.com stock and it is $500 per share. So you invest in a couple of shares. You spend $1,000. You got a couple shares of Amazon stock. You're buying it with the hopes that it will go up. You're basically saying, I believe in Amazon. I believe it's a well-run company. I believe it's ahead of the, the trends and everything. I'm gonna buy in this stock and I'm gonna hope that it goes up. Well, here's the thing. What happens when it goes down? See, what happens is that when it goes down, it causes an emotion inside of us. And that emotion is failure. We are losing. So this stock starts to dip. You bought it at 500, it's starting to slide down to 450, then down to 400, down to 350, whatever it might be, right? It starts sliding. Now suddenly, you're emotional. You're like, oh my God, it's not working. I'm losing money, I'm failing. But here's the thing. Are you really losing money? When you bought that stock, you bought because you believed Amazon would be a good play, a good long-term play. You believed it was a well-run company. You'd be, you believed it was gonna be around for a while. You see, what happens is, when something doesn't go our way, we begin to focus on what's wrong with it. So you invested because you thought Amazon was great. You invested because you thought it was a good stock. But then what happened was, when it started going down, you forgot why you invested in the first place. Now all you could think about is, oh my God, was this a good investment? Was I stupid? Was I foolish? I shouldn't have invested that money. Now you got friends and family also that are telling you, I told you so. I told you that was a foolish move. I told you that was risky. See, we lose track. When things don't go our way, we lose track. And that's one of the most common reasons why people fail at anything. You forget why you're doing it in the first place, right? So for example, let's go back to Shopify now with an example. With Shopify, look, we know Shopify is great. Every single day we're seeing results. We know it's only a matter of time before we crack the code. We know that if we play the long game, we know that it'll work for us. And a lot of times we get confused over what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis and we forget the long game. For example, maybe some of you have spent a few hundred dollars in advertising, so now you're out $300. That's like a stock going down. Or maybe you spent $500 in advertising and you haven't made sales, or maybe you haven't made a profit. Now what happens is, suddenly we forget why we got started in the first place. We completely forget what our focus is, what our purpose is. And that's where you have to remind yourself, listen, if all we did was free marketing strategies. Let's say we never even placed Facebook ads at all. Shopify would still be one of the best ways to make money online. I mean, you could get your store ranked in Google, you could be getting organic traffic, you could do YouTube review videos, you could build up Facebook fan pages, you could go into groups and start marketing, you could build up social media profiles. There's a thousand ways to market your Shopify store. So why would we allow ourselves to beat ourselves up over an ad performing um, underperforming? not performing so well. That's like going back to that stock market example. 
it's exactly like buying into a stock that we believe in. Like let's say we buy into Amazon, we buy into it because we believe in it. Then when the stock dips, we feel like we are losing money, but we're not losing money. Here's why we're not losing money. You only lose money if you sell that stock. So if you buy that stock, let's say at $500, and then it goes down to $400, if you sell it, then you actually physically took a loss. But if you were committed to it, saying, you know what, I am committed to this stock long-term, I believe in the company, I believe in the vision, let's ride this wave. What's gonna happen is that that stock is gonna go up and down and up and down and up and down over the course of the long run. You're gonna have some dips, you're gonna have some gains, but over the course of the long run, if you were right, if you picked a good company, that stock is gonna go up and up and up and up, and you're gonna get a reward. So if you can learn how to survive in those lows, if you can learn how to disconnect yourself emotionally. Now, the way that I do this is I go in expecting it. When I place ads on Facebook, I expect that there will be losers. Therefore, when I have losers, it does not shock me. I expect that it's, it's hard. I don't, I don't just think, oh, I'm just gonna throw an ad up there and it's gonna, I'm gonna get rich. Come on now, if it were like that, that would be, I would actually be uh, discouraged. I would actually think, yeah, right, There's a, this is a scheme. This is a scam, there's a catch here. The fact that it's a little bit hard gets me excited because I know most people will drop out. Most people will drop out on the way and that just means less competition for me. Most people will give up. Most people will start the journey and they will not finish the journey. So hey, you know what? They're gonna give up along the way, but that just means less competition for me. I go into it knowing that it's all about placing a, a variety of ads until you finally get one that's profitable. Just like with stocks, I know it's about the long So like I was saying, let it correct itself. If a stock goes down, let it correct itself. If, if, if your ads aren't going through, it's okay. If you understand that that's part of the process, then you're never gonna go through that failure cycle. So let's, let's get straight to the point here. What, what is the number one reason why people fail at Shopify? And for that, pretty much any internet marketing, affiliate marketing, network marketing, making money online, any of it. Why do people fail? The number one reason people fail is they give up too soon. That's it, that's it. The number one reason people fail is they give up too soon. What, by giving up, it's like selling a stock at a loss. The moment you give up is the moment you actually realize the failure, right? But if you hang in there, then all that that is is a dip. And dips are expected. Okay, so I really want you to think about this, like the stock market or like the real estate market. When something is going down, and you sell at a loss, then you've actually realized a loss. You therefore have an actual loss. You therefore have failed, you have lost. It's the number one reason for failure. But if you hang through it, then all that was was a little dip, a little bump, a little speed bump on your way, right? And that's what entrepreneurship is. Entrepreneurship is about surviving the ups and the downs of business and getting better and better and better. See, listen, think about this logically. Logically speaking, okay, very, very straightforward here. Even if all you used was free advertising strategies and never spent a dime, and if all you did was work an hour a day aside of your job, you could still succeed with Shopify. See, our training is not bad. Shopify is not bad. So listen, we know that retailers are literally slowly going out of business. They're slowly declining. All of this stuff's happening. Meanwhile, e-commerce is exploding. So you got retail, traditional retail, the industry's completely changing, right? Look at it right now, right in front of our eyes, right? The industry's completely changing. And guess who's on the forefront of that industry? You are. You are in the right place at the right time. You are right in front of the biggest trends in existence. You are right in front of the biggest shift from retail to online shopping. And not only are you in front of the biggest shift, but you have some of the best training, one of the best communities, some of the best support, everything. So what on earth could possibly distract you away from this literally race. It's like, it's, like, it's, like a, it's like a race for gold. It's like back in the days when people used to flood the California to, to come over here for the gold rush. That's exactly what's happening right now. E-commerce took about a decade. The last decade, 
to really start to hit its momentum. You know, I remember when um, when Amazon in the early 2000s, people used to make fun of Amazon.com. They used to say, oh, it's not even profitable. Oh, it's not even gonna survive. Who, who would want perishable items shipped to their house? It's never gonna work. Who would wanna buy shoes online? It'll never work because you don't, you're not gonna get the right size. Clothing, you're not gonna get the right size. You still need to go to a store and you need to try it on. You need to see how it fits. You need to really, this is what people were saying, you guys. People were doubting Amazon. On. They were doubting it all. Now go look at it. Go look at the stats of Sears. Go look at the stats of Kohl's. Go look at the stats of Macy's, um, Mervyn's, Jay-Z Penney's. Go look at any of these traditional retailers. The same places that people said they had to go to buy in person because it didn't make sense to buy online. Guess what? People eventually got comfortable with the process of buying online. They started realizing, you know what? It's simpler, it's convenient, there's deals, it's easy. I could just do it right from my phone now, right from my pocket. If I think about wanting a pair of shoes, I could buy a pair of shoes. I don't have to travel anywhere. I don't have to find parking. I don't have to sit in line. I don't have to do any of that. You guys, get back to the main purpose of what we're here for. We're in front of one of the biggest shifts in purchasing behavior, one of the biggest transitions and shifts, the biggest revolution of commerce we've ever experienced, and you are on the forefront of it. You have the ability to be able to build your own store, fill it with any products that you want, be able to market it to a, a targeted audience on social media, tools that never even existed. You know, five years ago, people were not buying like this from their phones. You guys, for if, if even for a second you think you're late to this trend, you are not late. You are on the cutting edge. This trend is only going to explode from here. It is literally going to explode. We've seen nothing yet. We are at the, we are literally in the basement of a ground floor opportunity of a massive shift in retail. And it's not gonna be something where big retailers dominate. Because little micro sales funnels that are selling one product at a time that are that are literally taking away the distraction the decision fatigue you don't see anywhere else the kind of stores that have So listen, I know I had a bad signal there. I just turned it back on. Sorry about that. So in a nutshell, my point here is, listen, you've got your hands on something great. You've got your hands on something amazing. All the other retailers are going out of business. Meanwhile, your business is going to be growing like crazy. You guys take advantage right now. Take advantage of what you've got, okay? Take absolute advantage. Run with it while it's hot. So with that being said, I know I got a bad signal here. Um, sorry about that. I think it's because my phone is overheating because it's 100 degrees outside and I think it just keeps losing it, okay? So the video will be um, posted right now as a replay. Listen, this is the, the first day of your final 30-day stretch. 
Take massive action, make it happen. Do whatever it takes, you guys. It is so worth it, and I wanna see you succeed. So no matter what, do not give up. That is the only reason people fail is because they quit. As long as you do not quit, you will, you will survive, you will succeed, you will make it happen. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.